Hey guys, welcome to question MM359 of Maths Methods Fortify Study Guide. So in this question, we've got the random variable x, which has a normal distribution with mean 17 and a standard deviation of 1.3. Now consider the random variable z, which follows the standard normal distribution. The probability that x is greater than 14.4 is equal to. All right, awesome. So we know that this is our normal distribution of this particular uh, distribution. Uh, we know that our mean at the middle is 17. Uh, and we go up and down by 1.3 as we go up and down. Now, Z is the uh, Z value which corresponds to the amount of standard deviations away from the mean we are. So what I like to do is draw this, then I like to draw correspond corresponding Z uh, values. So at the mean, we are zero standard deviations away from the mean, so our middle is zero. At 18.3, we've gone up by 1.3, which is our standard deviation, so we're up at Z equals one, and so on, one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three. Awesome. So from here, we know that we're looking for the probability that X is greater than 14.4. So 14.4 is just here, and we're looking for the probability that it's greater than that. So all of this area here, the probability there. Now, we need to look through our answers and see if uh, we basically have what we're looking for. So we know that our Z value is negative two at 14.4, right? Because these correspond to each other. So that means that the probability that X is greater than 14.4 is equal to the probability that Z is greater than negative two. Right? So then what we do is we look at this um, answer here and we see if that is one of our answers or one of our possible answers in A to E. Uh, and it is, right? So this is actually quite a straightforward question. Um, often it would be a bit more tricky, uh, but this is just one of the simpler ones. So this is part of our answers. This is an answer A. Uh, so A is actually our answer for MM359. Guys, if you have any questions about it, please hit me up in the comments below. But otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.